You know, I always bring the best fish recipes, right? If you're a fish lover, then this is a channel for you. Don't go away. I'll be showing you how to make this delicious one. Keep watching. hi guys and welcome back to my kitchen it's your girl claudie if you are new here you're in for the best a channel of easy quick and delicious recipes why don't you go ahead and hit the subscribe button like this video and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss out on any recent upload to start here we have our fish i'm using pollock fillet you can use any fillets of your choice okay i have some lemon slices fresh onion and some bell peppers and for the dry ingredients i have some garlic powder smoked paprika seasoning salt go ahead and use any regular salt cajun seasoning some chili flakes you can adjust that according to how spicy you want it italian blend and first i will go ahead to slice my onion and my bell peppers Now in a mixing bowl, go ahead and combine some olive oil with all the ingredients. When showing the ingredients from the beginning, I forgot to show you guys half tablespoon of lemon juice. Please do not miss it. That is why I always insist that you should always check the description box so you can have the link to the recipe or the list of the ingredients. African, Asian, American, and worldwide recipes, pastries and bakes. African, Asian, American, and worldwide recipes, pastries and bakes. Easy to follow from kids to adults. Ego yummy yummy. Now we are going to coat our fish fillets with that beautiful marinade in there. After marinating, if you like, you can let it rest for some time. But I am going to go right away to bake. Cooking with Claudie. So we are going to take out the fish from the marinade, set it aside. You want to go ahead to mar marinate the onion and the bell peppers. So guys, in this part for the onion and the bell peppers, you can use any veggies of your choice. I'm just using these for extra flavor, okay? So make sure they are well coated with the remaining marinade. In an aluminum foil, put the fish, but make sure the veggies is beneath the fish. That is the fish should be on top of the veggies. That's also creating a barrier between the fish and the aluminum foil so that the fish does not stick to the foil. Okay, so let the veggies be a barrier. Place each lemon slice on each pack. So you're going to repeat the process for the rest of the fish and the veggies. So make sure you wrap that perfectly and place on a baking sheet or baking pan or whatever you're using to bake in the oven. So let that go to a preheated oven, 400 degree Fahrenheit for about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how thick your fish is. So guys, the flavor already is amazing. I'm just going to open that up. Oh my lordy, lordy, lordy. Look at that. It's looking so, so good. Guys, I love this recipe. This recipe is so quick, super delicious. In fact, if you have your perfect sides like potatoes, mashed potatoes, pa even pasta, you can go ahead and serve with it right away. So guys, for the sauce I will be using for this recipe, the remaining um, marinade that was in the pan, I added in some hot sauce there, some Mexican hot sauce. You can use any hot sauce and I melted in about two tablespoons of butter. This is what I'm using right now. 
to spread on the fish. You can make that sauce and also enjoy it with some rice, okay? Also, the drippings from the pan, you can use it as a sauce for your side. It is so, so good. And right now, I'm just going to break into that fish and let you see how juicy and savory that is. For the potatoes that was baked separately, there are some lemon potatoes. If you want the potato recipe, I will drop it for you guys to check it out. And thank you so much for watching. Until we meet again, bye for now and I love you all.